Now we move into our third of the present moment skills. So the first skill we had was expanded awareness, using our old spirit fingers to get our brain back into the room. The second skill we've learned is the observer position, which is where you float out of your body using your imagination and you observe yourself, whatever you're feeling, which is very helpful for reducing anxiety in the present moment. Because generally everything around you is safe. And now we move to the third one, and that is tapping. Now, if you've not heard anything about tapping, it's also known as emotional freedom technique. That's E-F-T. It's based on 3,000 year old idea. And that came from the Chinese who understood and learned the meridians of the body, which are channels of energy that flow through us that have been scientifically proven. I think that some scientists have even put radiation through these to track them and so they could actually map the meridians through the body. So they figured it out. And what you can do is if you tap using a fin your two fingers and you tap on these meridian points, you can access your unconscious mind. And in accessing your unconscious mind, you can bring your brain back into the room, into the present moment. Now, this tapping idea you can use for healing the past as well as healing the future because you've healed the past. But what I love is as a very quick way to introduce you to tapping, we can bring our brain back to the present moment. Now, similar to spirit fingers, a bit tricky to do this one in public because you'll look a bit weird, but it works, I can tell you. And there are other psychosensory, which is mind and sensation type technologies out there, but this one was the first one I found uh, at the time, and I've found it super effective. And so I've done a lot of study in this area, and I love it. And so I hope you enjoy EFT or tapping. Okay, let's jump into the activity in just a moment. Okay, here we go. We are now jumping in to tapping. And I've watched lots of different tapping videos and I've done different courses and different bits and pieces into the tapping world and I love it. And there's a few other teachers out there who I like this simplicity of how they teach these things. One of these teachers mentioned that it's like an emotional toothbrush, which I kind of liked the idea of, that if things are getting a bit, you know, out of hand, like our teeth are getting a bit of tartare, then we brush our teeth. Well, if our brain's got a bit of clog going on, we can tap away some of that clog that's in the brain. Now, let's do a very simple tapping technique. First of all, I need to teach you the points. And depending on your school of thought, uh, some have like seven or eight tapping points, some have only three or four. And there's other sequences they put with it. And I'll put together the ones that I've learned to see how it affects your body. And what you do is you take two fingers and you tap on specific points and you'll start to feel it in the body. And what it does is it starts to relax you. And as you're relaxing, you can start to put positive messages into your brain and bring your brain back to the present moment. Let's begin. The very first one, all you do is take these two fingers and let's tap on the top of the head. Just tapping lightly on the top of the head. And then tapping just on the forehead here, between the eyes on the forehead. Just like four or five times, six, seven, eight, nine times. And you might find you'll start getting sensations. I get them in my belly if I tap up here. It's quite bizarre, but it's fun. The next one is just to the side of the eyes in the temple. Just play around with it and see if you can find 
any sensations in the body. Just slightly tapping. The next point is under the eye socket, on the bone. Just on the cheek there. On the cheek. So it's beside the nose. Just tapping away. The next point is actually under the nose here, just above the lip. And I can feel that one kind of, I don't know, somewhere down here. It's kind of bizarre, the feeling. The next point is actually just on the chin here, in the little crease there. Just feel where that might feel in the body. The next point is on the bone here of the collarbone and you can play around with it tap away and feel along the collarbone with these two fingers tapping I like to go quite hard because I, that I like to feel it but you can do it whatever pace you like the next one is actually underneath here underneath the armpit just up the side on the rib cage I don't tend to feel as much on that one. And then the last one is chopping point. The chopping point here on each side. So that is the psycho part, the, sorry, the sensory part. And you can probably feel things happening in the body. Now, if you're feeling anxious, there's a shortened version we can do. And we start off by saying some simple words. And it generally starts out with, even though I've got this anxiety, I still love and accept myself. So we'll try a round of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simplify it. We're gonna simplify it to top of the head. Even though I have this anxiety, I still love and accept myself. Forehead, even though I have this anxiety, I still love and accept myself. Side of the eye, even though I have this anxiety, I still love and accept myself. Under the eye, on the cheek, even though I have this anxiety, I still love and accept myself. And then I skip these two and I go straight to the collarbone. Even though I have this anxiety, I still love and accept myself. And then I skip the other ones and I just hold my wrist. I breathe in deeply. Let it out. And I say the word peace. And I feel a little rushed sometimes. And then shake it out. So you can do that a few times. And I can feel the sensations in my body right now. Now let's do another round. And we'll simplify it a little bit more. This time we'll just start at the top of the eyes here on the forehead. All that anxiety I had. All that overthinking. All that catastrophizing. I'm safe now. I'm so very safe. In this room, very comfortable, very relaxed, very safe in this room. In this room, so very safe. Even though I had all of that, I'm actually very safe, very calm, very relaxed in this room. Fully acknowledge that I had that anxiety. And now I can let it go. Under the, on the cheek. Let it go. All that anxiety. Letting it go. Like letting go of a balloon. A helium balloon that floats up into the sky. Or like pulling out a tree or pulling out a, a plant. It just shrivels up and dies and is no longer an issue. Tapping away, 
letting it go, letting go of that balloon. And then, ooh, which one next? I go down here. Letting it go, letting go of that anxiety. Because I'm safe now. So very safe. I look in this room at the evidence of just how safe I am. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Hold your wrist. <sighs> Peace. Imagine those balloons floating up into the sky. I am safe now. And that is a tapping sequence you can do and practice. I can already feel my body calming down. What you're doing is you're releasing delta waves. You're releasing relaxation through the body. And you're plugging in some positive words into your unconscious straight away. That is the third of our in the present moment. I am safe now. I am not in danger. To calm your brain, calm your nervous system back to the present moment. I hope you use these three skills and get back to the present moment. So important to be in the room. I hope you enjoyed the present moment and we'll move on very shortly to the past and the future.